Hi guys, I'm Karen Cavett and you might have seen my videos. DIYs to do over the summer when you're bored. Back to school DIYs to do when you're bored. Halloween DIYs to do when you're bored. Are you guys seeing a pattern here? Of course, I had to do Christmas DIYs to do when you're bored. These are projects that are really easy to do but they're kind of repetitive. They kind of take a lot of time. So they're perfect for when you are procrastinating from studying for finals, or if you have already taken your finals and you're on a school break, and you just have so much time to fill, you don't know what to do, and you want to make something festive, these are the perfect projects for you. So if you like these projects, I'm also posting them over on Facebook in a shareable social version. So make sure that you head on over there to share them with all of your crafty friends and family. All right, let's get into the projects. First up is my Christmas tree. You guys, I have been wanting a white tree for years, especially since my apartment right now has gray walls, so I thought white would look amazing. So when the company Treetopia offered to send me a tree to use in a video, I was like, yes, obviously. So I decided I wanted to go for color and make a rainbow gradient tree. If you're bored at home, you can sort all of your ornaments by color and hang them up in a gradient. However, I don't have a lot of ornaments, so I cheated and I went to the craft store to buy like a hundred colorful ornaments and I hung them in a rainbow all over my tree. Let me just tell you, I'm so proud of this. Each box retailed for $10, but they were half off when I went. And then I had a 25% off coupon on top of that. So I got each box for $3.75. Pretty good deal. Anyway, if you do this, just make sure that you have more purple and blue ornaments than red and gold, because obviously you'll need more ornaments down at the bottom than at the top. After I hung all my ornaments, I also filled in the empty spaces with these iridescent clear ornaments that Treetopia also sent me. And you guys, I made a rainbow tree. I'm 100% obsessed with this. It is the Christmas tree of my dreams and all the bright colors just make me so happy. Next, of course, I have to have a perler bead project. We're going to make this Christmas light garland out of perler beads. It's so easy, literally just follow this pattern, which I got from Pinterest and I'll link down below, and then iron it the same way you would with any other perler bead project. Make a bunch of them in all different colors. Then use a thumbtack to make a hole in the top and add a jump ring. Repeat that for all of them, and then tie them onto a piece of green string. And that's it! I actually decided to restring mine onto thicker green yarn, and I also wrapped a star garland around it to make it extra festive. I had this hanging in the background of my video from last week, and so many of you guys wanted to know how I made it. So there you go, it's actually really easy. Next, I've got another perler bead project. Last year, I made snowflakes out of perler beads and I hung them up on my curtains. This year, I decided to take it to the next level, so I just followed all the same steps to make a perler bead snowflake. And then, you guys, we're adding glitter. Put down scrap paper and spray your snowflake with spray glue. Then sprinkle on white glitter and tap off any excess. Now, I'm sure you're like, 
Karen, there's no way I'm doing a glitter project. That stuff gets literally everywhere. Well, not if you use hairspray. I'd heard this rumor through the crafting grapevine for years now, and I finally decided to try it out for myself. Just give your glitter a liberal coat of hairspray, and it actually works. It actually makes the glitter stay in place and not fall off everywhere. Just add a jump ring and tie on a piece of string, and now we have these adorable glitter perler bead snowflake ornaments. I think they came out super cute, and you can either just make one or a bunch of them depending on how bored you are. Next up, we're making a wreath out of a pizza box. Yes, I'm giving you an excuse to order pizza. Tell your mom it's for a craft project. Trace two large circles, however big you want your wreath to be, and cut them out. Then cut a bunch of thin strips of cardboard as well. Bend them into a curve and then use hot glue to glue them to the center of your wreath. Don't worry about this being perfect, we're going to cover it up later. Once you have them glued onto both sides, give the whole thing a coat of white paint. And again, don't worry about this being perfect. Now you'll need two strands of tinsel. Add a bit of hot glue to the center of the wreath and press the end of the tinsel in place. Then wrap it all around the wreath and glue down the end. I found that to get the fullness I wanted, I had to use two strands of tinsel, but if your wreath is smaller, you might just need one. Now we've made a wreath that you can decorate however you like. I added a bright pink bow that I bought at the craft store, and then, my secret ingredient, pom-poms. You just need a dot of hot glue on each one, and it's an easy way to add some color and a fun polka dot design. I don't know if you could tell, but my decorating theme this year is color everywhere, and I'm just obsessed with how all of this turned out. And finally, it's ugly sweater time. There's kind of a trend happening right now where people are wearing sweaters covered in giant pom-poms. If you're into it, you can actually make one for yourself. You just need a sweater and some thick yarn. Cut a piece of cardboard into a U shape and then wrap the yarn around it several times. Then cut a smaller piece of yarn, feed it into the center, and tie it around the whole bundle. Cut the loops, fluff it out, and give it a haircut. Now that you have a giant pom-pom, Feed the ends from the center knot through the sweater and tie them on the inside. Repeat that with as many pom-poms as you like. And there you go. I'd actually really love to know, are you guys into this idea? Are you extra enough to wear this day to day, or just out to an ugly Christmas sweater party? I'm still on the fence there, but luckily, since we didn't use any glue, we can always just cut off the pom-poms and go back to our normal sweater. So I hope you guys liked all of my Christmas DIYs, and I hope that your boredom is now cured. If it's not, I'll have all of my DIYs to do when you're bored videos and a playlist for you right down below, so make sure you go check out the other ones if you're still looking for a few more projects to do. And let me know in a comment what you are most hoping to get 
for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate this year. And if your birthday is around the holidays like mine is, uh, what are you hoping to get for your birthday as well? December 31st, that's my birthday. Just so you know, just so you all can uh, wish me a happy birthday when that rolls around. Just putting it out there. Okay, anyway, that, that was a tangent, but make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like these projects. I'm gonna have new holiday videos every single week, all the way up to Christmas. I have so many more ideas to share with you guys. So I will see you all next time.